Greetings and welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at the 1998 satirical comedy drama film The Truman Show, directed by Peter Weir and starring Jim Carrey. Let's begin. Selected from birth following an unwanted pregnancy, Truman Burbank is the unsuspecting star of The Truman Show, a reality television program filmed 24-7 through thousands of hidden cameras and broadcast worldwide. Christoph, the show's creator and executive producer, seeks to capture Truman's authentic emotions and give audiences a relatable everyman. Truman has been the star of the show since he was born and the studio officially adopted him. Truman's hometown, Sea Haven Island, is set inside an enormous dome, populated by crew members and actors who highlight product placements that generate revenue for the show. The elaborate set allows Christoph to control almost every aspect of Truman's life, including the weather. To prevent Truman from discovering the truth, Christoph orchestrates scenarios that neutralize his desire for exploration, such as the death of his father in a sea storm to instill thalassophobia and constantly broadcast messages about the dangers of traveling and the virtues of staying home. During his college years, Truman, through in though intended to fall in love with and marry co student Merrill falls for Sylvia, an extra. Although Sylvia is removed from the show before she can disclose the truth to Truman, he continues to secretly dream of a life with her outside of his marriage to Merrill and hopes to travel to Fiji, where he is led to believe Sylvia's family moved. In the real world, Sylvia joins Free Truman, an activist group that seeks to cancel the show and have Truman released. As the show approaches its 30th anniversary, Truman begins to notice unusual occurrences around him, such as a spotlight falling from the sky, a radio channel precisely describing his movements, and the reappearance of his father, who is rushed away by crew members before Truman can confront him. Truman begins questioning his life and realizes that the city somehow revolves around him. One day, Truman takes Merrill on a surprise road trip, but increasingly implausible emergencies block their way, culminating in Truman suffering a nervous breakdown when a police officer addresses him by name. At home, Merrill attempts to advertise a product. Truman deduces that she is involved in the conspiracy and holds her at knife point, demanding answers. She breaks character and is taken off the show. Hoping to bring Truman back to a controllable state, Christoph reintroduces his father properly under the guise of him having developed amnesia after the boating accident. The show regains its ratings and Truman seems to return to his routines, though he begins sleeping in his basement. One night, Truman secretly disappears through a makeshift tunnel in his basement. Christoph temporarily suspends the broadcast for the first time in its history and record numbers tune in. Christoph orders a citywide search for Truman, soon forced to break the production's day-night cycle to optimize the search. Truman is discovered sailing away from Sea Haven, having conquered his fear of water. Christoph resumes the transmission and creates a violent storm in an attempt to capsize Truman's boat. Truman nearly drowns, but his spirit remains unbroken and he continues to sail until his boat strikes the wall of the dome. Initially horrified, Truman looks around and discovers a staircase leading to an exit door. As he contemplates leaving, Christoph speaks to him directly through a speaker system, encouraging him to stay and claiming that there is no more truth in the real world than his artificial one, where he has nothing to fear. After a moment of reflection, Truman utters his catchphrase, In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening and good night, bows to his audience and exits. Viewers around the world celebrate Truman's escape and Sylvia races to greet him. Christoph's supervisors end the program on a shot of the open exit door. If you enjoyed this film, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below letting me know which movie you'd like to see me do next and what you thought of this film. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.